Floss Tube friends. Welcome to episode eight. Ooh, so excited. Um, of my floss tube. Lots of stitching going on this week. Lots of um, haul. I've got a couple of things to show you. And I had a couple of thrift store finds. And I'm just looking over my list to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I had a couple of finishes from Stitch Mania. So I'm very excited about that. Um, today is Sunday. Happy Mother's Day or Special Person's Day. Um, if you don't have a mom in your life, then I hope you have somebody very special who um, helped to guide you and uplift you. And I know Mother's Day is very difficult for a lot of people. Um, and I don't think we acknowledge that enough. It's very hard, especially if your children are away from you or um, you don't have children and there's all this fuss being made. Yes, motherhood, it deserves to be honored, but there are also lots of other different family dynamics that need to be honored that aren't honored, aren't honored as well. So um, if you're a stepmom or a bonus mom or a two moms or whatever it is, I just hope that you have somebody in your life that is supportive of you. So that being said, I try to be inclusive in everything and I try to think that not everybody had the kind of fairy tale growing up that I had. Um, I had a wonderful, I have a wonderful mother. Um, I had a wonderful dad who provided a lot of wonderful things. They both provided a lot of wonderful things um, for me um, and gave me the the start that I needed in life and um, helped me to be a successful person. So I will always appreciate that. But I'm always mindful that that's it's not the way for everybody. So climbing down off of my teacher pulpit. Sorry. So, okay, we're going to go straight into haul. So this past week I saw, um, I think it was on Pinterest, this pattern. And it was from Sub Rosa, and I've never I've never heard of Sub Rosa before. Uh, looked it up, Etsy shop, uh, got to order, and got an email within an hour or two at least um, with my pattern in the email. And she's got lots of other cute patterns that I've got on my wish list. Um, but gosh, talk about instant gratification. So I got this one. And it says for my daughter. So I'm gonna do this for my, I have two daughters, I'm gonna do one for each of them. And even though they may not cross stitch, they do appreciate them. So I'm going to do that and that is by Sub Rosa. And it's a great pattern, it was lovely to print, the colors are great. So um, I really, I really like that, that manner of getting um, your pattern. So I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. So my next one has a funny story. So I was looking on eBay and um, you know how it pops up with things that you might be interested in. And there was a Christmas stocking from Erica Michaels, which I've, I think I've done a couple of her things before. I know who she is. Um, a Christmas stocking and it was for a cat. So I'm sitting here thinking, who would put all the effort into making a crisp stocking for their cat? And I'm saying this as my cat is staring at me like, you're a bad mom. But sorry, cat, it's a Christmas stocking for a cat. And I just laughed and thought that was just the silliest thing. Well, then about an hour later, I thought, well, I want to make a stocking for my cat. I, Yeah, I, I, I have to have that. So I rushed back to eBay shockingly it was still available um so buy that one it's on its way look around and there's one for your dogs honestly but hey it's in, it's in my stash so here is the dog one the cat one is not here yet and it is called happy christmas dreams and it has toys and bones and all kinds of doggy good doggy things so there's a little one and then there's the big full one. The little one's really cute. So I don't know. I have two dogs and one cat. Um, so I believe they're going to get stockings at some point in time. 
This one is not haul, but I did print it off. Um, I'm currently addicted to punch needle and primitive stitcher. And I saw this and I now have to do this one. My soul is fed with by needle and thread. And this is a Abbey Rose design and it's in, in case you have a subscription and you want to look it up. It's in the fall of 2015 magazine. So you can go into the back issues and you can print any of the other ones that you want. And that one is just, and I think I'm gonna do this and use the, I have a few skeins of over dyed threads and I don't use them. I've explained that before. So I think I'm gonna put, do this as a display. Anyway, not haul, but printed it. Then I got in the mail, I thought I got more than that, but I have some coming. This is precious, y'all. Look at that, it's a chicken. Is that not the cutest thing? It's a Stacy Nash. Her name is Henrietta. I saw it on somebody's blog or somebody's floss too. No, it was on Facebook. It was on Facebook. Somebody did the chicken. And I have a whole box of vintage seam binding. So I'm, oh, I'm so excited to do that one. Precious. Oh, and she's got other animals. She has a an elephant that's the, my next purchase. He's really cute. Okay, uh, thrift store finds. I was in the thrift store. I'm gonna start going to the thrift store on Thursdays um, because our thrift store has a ton of needlework stuff. And I've gotten some really good things there in the past. And I've just sort of gotten away from going there with my work schedule and everything. So, but it's, it's on my way home so I can stop. So I got this, it is the City Stitcher and it's called the Peaceful River Sampler. And it was a dollar. And look, there's swans. Aren't those pretty? I just, loved this so for a dollar can't go wrong with that right then hold on I have to grab something I'm back sorry and then I found not cross stitch but crafty this little kit was a dollar 49 had been eleven dollars back in the day and it is little quilts. I don't know if you know little quilts or not, but they have the most precious little doll quilts. And I've made a few, my mom's made a few, and it's the whole kit. So it's got the, the, the um, fleece, it's got the fabric, it's got the pattern, it's the whole kit. So, $1.49, can't beat it. Finishes, yay! These were off of Stitch, Stitch Mania, because I'm doing smalls. Um, it's a little easier for me to finish. So I did, this one is the Lizzie Kate. These are the days we will remember forever. Finished, love it. Changed the colors in this. I went with a pink. So really, really cute. Absolutely love it. It's so cheery and happy, very nice. And this one was a Prairie Schooler, the little bee. Absolutely love that. So that's just gonna be a little ornament. I might stitch that one again. I really liked that. So I had two finishes from Stitch Mania. So that's exciting. And I might, probably not today, but sometime this week I'm close to finishing another one from the past. Okay, so for Stitch Mania, on Monday I started Lizzie Kate, and I started, uh, it's the Bacon Bits. I'll show the pattern. And I'm doing this one, and I'm doing this one. Right, yeah. Those, I'm doing these two. So I started on Monday. I started, I gotta get this one. That's the first one. You are the bacon to my eggs, and I got that much done not too too much and then just the other day I started that would have been on 
oh, on the 11th, so just a couple days ago, I started the I Love You More Than Bacon. So I'm going to go ahead and show that since I'm in the... So I got quite a lot done on that one. So that was two for this week. And so far, I've stayed right on my schedule. That helps me by planning out exactly which one. Now, I've made a couple of, of uh, changes as I went um, in my schedule, but not very many. Because if, if it's written down, I'll do it. Then I did the 1989 Santa, and I didn't get a whole lot done on that, but it is a start, and I got that much done on it. And I'm using the called for colors except the Ecru. I'm changing the Ecru to a B5200. I like the bright white. To me, it makes sense. Then I started on the Freebie Quaker Christmas, and that's turning out really cute, you guys. I did change the colors. It's charted in a red and a green, and while those were lovely colors, I just wanted to do a solid color, so it's that, and it's little. So the snowman head goes right in here, and then it, he's got like a orange like his orange nose and everything. So he goes right in here. And it's really cute. And you could do any color that you wanted, any solid color, or variegated. I think they use variegated, or the fancy floss. But you could uh, do it for, you know, a gift, a favorite color, or to match your Christmas tree decor, whatever. Love it. So I probably will be stitching that one more than once. Then, this is one I switched because I just got this chart and I am so in love with it. For the Barnyard Christmas, I'm doing this fella right up here, this rooster guy. And I got pretty far on him. So, yep. Love him. I'm using all the charted color colors for him. I'm on a chicken kick. Thanks, Chelsea. My next one is a bushel and a peck, which was yesterday's start. Um, and I'm glad I started in the morning because we went antique shopping yesterday, downriver. And I don't know whether I ate something. I don't know what it was, but it had the most massive of migraines when I got home could not even oh I couldn't even open my eyes I was shielding my eyes like this trying to get into the house went right to bed slept from five o'clock last night to I don't know eight o'clock this morning just in agony terrible so but I did get a start yesterday oh, anything for mania so it's bushel and a peck, and I didn't print off the picture, but it's two people kissing under a tree, and it's from uh, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitching, so you know it's going to be prim. It's cute. Then the last one that I started, which was today, um, it's Primrose Maiden, and it's in Just Cross Stitch, April 2015. Um, I can't show you the picture, but I do need to print it out because when I pulled the threads for it, and I looked at it, it looks, it's a, it's a spring, to me, it's a spring pattern, but it was charted in very autumn fall colors, or maybe it was just primitive colors. So, but if there's a bunny and the girl's holding a basket and there's a sunshine or a sun and flowers. So I did change the colors up and I got this little start, but it took me some time to figure out the colors um, because I, to me it just it looks like a springy so the colors now are so I changed an orange a deep orange to a pink and then uh, let's see what was the other color oh a winter white to a uh, dusty purple and then this the inside the flowers and everything was a deep gold so I changed it to a lighter 
yellow. So I think that'll look really cute. And these are the colors of her little dress. That was about as clear as mud, I'm sorry. I should have printed the picture. I'll know next time to do that. So that was my start for the day and I have lots of time today to stitch and everything. I don't have anything to do until about five o'clock when we're having a Mother's Day barbecue. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, let's see, I have, I've been watching some floss tubes and of course I forgot to write them down. Um, and I've had some, some subscribers. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. I'm happy that we're here to support each other in our craft that we love. And I'm learning so much from you guys too. I've learned a lot of finishing techniques, um, changing colors. I'm getting better with that. Um, even the way that I do floss tube, I'm much more intentional about how I'm stitching, what I'm stitching. I'm not as scattered, so I don't feel like I'm wasting money on supplies and patterns. I haven't been to Joann's in a week because I just know that I have, oops, sorry, my cat decided to join the table. So, because I just know I have all this material and I'm using what I have. That's pretty much it. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Nope. I think that's it. Next time I'm going to show you, I started, I found a glass covered chicken and they are, oh, they're so cute. My grandma used to have them. And so, and I, I haven't had any, but I saw one in a thrift store yesterday and, or an antique store. So I bought it. It was four bucks super cute it's a milk glass so I'll show it next time and um, I think I'm gonna start collecting them it, they're little it looks like fun and then I got a little like a doily thing to go underneath one of my tiered trays oh it's nice here in Michigan the Sun is out it got cold again oh, surprise but I think here on out we'll probably be like 60s 70s which is perfect it's going to be awesome, lovely weather. I'm ready to put my plants out front. I'm ready to spend some time outside. So anyway, I hope wherever you are at, it is warm and pleasant. And Or if not, I hope you have a place to be that is warm and pleasant. So anyway, next week I'll have a little bit more haul. I'll have um, hopefully a couple more finishes. We'll see. Uh, the next couple weeks are really crazy um, for the next month.